everyone and welcome back to my channel i hope you're keeping well and keeping safe now in today's video i'm going to be talking about skin issues with classical ehlers danlos syndrome one of the most common features of classical ehlers danlos syndrome is the skin now the skin is obviously all over your body and there's so many things that can happen to the skin from any part of your body. Classical EDS causes stretchy, fragile skin. It makes it tear easily. It causes it to bruise easily. And there may be slow, poor healing from injury or surgery. For many people with classical EDS, they may have smooth, fair, witty skin which is like a dull like texture and there may be a lot of scarring especially wide scars and that is down to the poor, poor healing some people may get molluscoid pseudotumors subcutaneous spheroids i think that's how you say it and pesogenic pepules Wearing lots of layers, wearing bandanas, wetsuits, specific footwear, in particular things like sketches, shin pads, knee and elbow pads, helmets, and these are particularly aimed at children who are often the most active. And these just protect the skin from if you fall or if out and about and just to help. Another thing I may add to the list is face masks because they go over your chin and for example when I was younger I was laid on a skateboard and I trapped my chin underneath against the floor and cut my chin open and have a skin scar on my chin. They look dead. Mm. Do you remember that? Now for skin management, for minor and bruising recommended is ice packs or compression, Cut. cuts and tears that are less than one centimetre long on the body, that's about a centimetre I reckon, clean the wound, if no tension then wide six millimetre stereo strips. Or oh, butterfly, which is we call them, that go across. For cuts and tears that are gaping, jagged, or deep, clean the wound, two layer sutures, and or stereo strips. For facial injuries, suture, all sutures to stay on twice as long as normal. Specialist prompt repair of wounds, preferably by a plastic surgeon. Recently, I ordered and received a medical alert card from the Early Stella Support UK for the classical type, and it has a brief explanation about what classical EDS is and then the management guidance. It's very important that they do it in layers and you know to go quite deep in the wound to help it heal better otherwise it may struggle to heal properly now the issues that i have are obviously all of these but having things done like by medical professionals whether it's going to podiatry and them being quite blase when you mention to them to be careful because my skin tears easy and um, what happens what happened dad when we went to the dietary and my toenails you cut my skin and oh yeah you have to dress my yeah very it's very painful. cut very easily yeah so do alert your professional that 
you have classical ADS and what your skin is like and to be extra careful when dealing with the skin and the, the vessels and it's all because of the connective tissue disorder that's what EDS is it's a connective tissue disorder so you have tissues that connect your body so it affects all of your body basically and when medical professionals don't listen when you speak out then it just cause issues which you can do without even having like ECGs when they're taken off the sticky tabs last time I went I was left bruised and very sore so I have to avoid having big plasters the medical dressing tape is a no-no because it pours my skin with my loose stretchy skin so it's just to be careful really and extra gentle for those fragile skin and that is all for today's video i do hope that you've learned something about the skin with classical eds and hope that i've helped you in some way and give you confidence to speak out because it is your body at the end of the day and you're the one that is dealing with the aftermath so thank you for watching this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up and share if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads and i will see you all soon take care bye bye